Hi, it's Megan. Yes, I've been playing in the chimney again, you know, what can you say? But um, I have on my lips and my cheeks a Lipstick Queen Oxymoron, and it's all dirty. So I've been playing around with it in the bathroom with all my other makeup for a while, called Free Ride. And I chose this for the smoky eye just because it's such a great color when you want to do something kind of wild with the rest of your look, be it smoky eyes or lots of color. So according to lipstick, well, first of all, these are 0.28 ounces, so they're about double the size of a lipstick, kind of along the size of a, of a blush, but a smaller bl blush. It just depends on the brand. And they're $24. So you can get them, guys, you can get them all over. Lipstick Queen Side, Beauty.com, Ulta, I think a lot of the high-end, Barney's, Nordstrom, Carrie the brand. So it comes in this little thing with a cute little drawing on it and you get a brush, which I just dropped. You get a little brush. I was trying to be really precise in applying it on my lips so it would look really pretty and perfect for the video and I'm just not good with lipstick brushes so I finally was just like whatever it's just gonna be the best it can be. But you can see I almost got it. Um, I just usually get tube lipsticks because of this problem. I'm not always the slickest with these little brushes. But I will say, as much as I love this as just a regular lipstick applied the way I did it right now, I actually like it better dotted on. Um, it just looks like, I don't know how to describe it. I saw this, this girl at Sephora wearing her lipstick that way one time. She just basically took her finger and just dotted it and just gave it a really soft kind of matte muted, really pretty, more natural look than I think putting too much lipstick on does. It's almost like, you know those really pretty lipsticks that wear away perfectly? It was that sort of a look, right? It, it just looks softer. So I actually wear it that way more than I wear it as like a full coverage lipstick. Um, and then I have it on the cheeks. And so, according to the brand, this chip, chip, cheek and lip tint makes you look like you're glowing from the inside like you've just been on a country picnic and it is a matte formula and it's for both cheek and lips and free ride the color I have they call an ultimate pretty peach I think it is a little bit of nude mixed into that peach and a lot of pink mixed into that peach remember peach is a mix of kind of a coral or an orange toned color with pink so that makes sense but it's very definitely a little pink toned on me I have very pigmented lips so that might be part of it it's picking up kind of some of the natural rosiness in my own lip color but I definitely see the pink in it I also see the peach, the coral, or the orange tone in it so if you don't like those types of colors don't think it's just a pink they have four, now they have five, they just released a new one of these and I have black on my arm, but I'm still going to do a swatch. So it looks like this. And I messed up with my brush. Just, just to let you know if you get one, the brush, when you first use it, you need to crack it first because, you know, they have that whatever, it's still like one hard thing. Once you crack it, then it's not a hard thing that's going to make a little line like that, but I didn't know that, so I made a little line. So this is how it applies, just like that. So it definitely has the pink in it. And then it blends out like that. And so it's definitely a rich color. I did not have any problems blending it into my skin. I do have dry skin and so sometimes with something that's this rich and pigmented I can have problems blending it out because my skin just like sucks it up. But I did not have any problems. And I like the matte. Part of the reason I like the matte is that I put so much shimmer on my face. So when I have a good basic product like this, especially one that's got the pink and the peach or the orange and the pink coral tones both in it, then, um, what I mean is orange and pink both in it, then it'll match pretty much whatever else I'm wearing usually, which makes my look easier, right? You could put on this or travel with it or throw it in your bag, and regardless of whatever else you have on your face, it's almost always going to match because it's so neutral, but in between either a complete orange or a pink tone. So I really like that about it. I love mattes too because... Um, like I said, since I add so much shimmer, it just gives me more of a neutral base to work with, and I can play around with shimmers elsewhere and not look like a disco ball, but um, I just like mattes for the third reason I just like mattes. It does feel a little bit like a Stila convertible color. I saw someone compare it to that online, but I think the formula is a little thicker, and I 
love cream blushes, but I sometimes have problems with the products that claim to be both a blush and a lipstick because I find they work beautifully on the lips, I mean on the cheeks, but they don't work beautifully on the lips. This year I found a couple formulas, including this one, which I think work almost as well on the lips as they do on the cheeks, or sometimes as well. And so I actually really like this as a lipstick. It's almost like a lipstick in a different form, which I think is why the lipstick, lip side of it works so well. A lot of brands are taking a cheek color and trying to make it work for the lips. I feel like with Lipstick Queen and some of the new formulas that have come out this year, they've done the opposite. They've taken a lip formula, and then it's easier to adapt that to the cheek. So I really like this both on the cheeks and the lips. It lasts about two and a half, three hours on my lips, which for me is a really long time, and that's one of the things I like about the Lipstick Queen brand is that it tends to last longer than a lot of other colors on my lips, which I love because I just cannot make lipstick last very well on my lips, although I'm starting finally to use a lip pencil, but then what's the point? It's the same amount of work, right? And if you have to do both products every three hours versus one product every one and a half hours, I don't know. And it's an extra thing to carry. So on the cheeks it lasts a good eight plus hours. So it's a great wearing product. The other thing I like about Lipstick Queen is that the colors I think are more natural looking and flattering on than some more maybe, I don't wanna say fashion because I don't think that's the term. Some kind of more edgy brands. The products have amazing colors in the product pan or the, but they just don't look that good on. And these are really wearable colors. So. I like that. It is a little bit like convertible color I was saying, but I think it's a little thicker. And blends flawlessly, looks very natural, very pretty. The lip brush is fine. I actually prefer not using the lip brush. And I guess it is a thicker formula, especially thicker than a lot of the other Lipstick Queen formulas. So on me, I don't have a dry lip problem and I have, so I don't have that issue, but I can see where it does feel dry on the lips. If you have super sensitive or super dry lips, you might not love this particular Lipstick Queen product because it does feel dry on the lips. Mattes get that bad reputation for that, and sometimes they do have that. That's hard that they get the texture. Um, so that's one caveat. It has no smell at all, nothing that I can detect. And it's just a really pretty, beautiful, flawless fabric. Uh, pad uh, what is wrong with me today? It's a really pretty, flawless product. If you like, you can also put a gloss on it so it's less matte on your lips. I think that's it, and that looks really pretty too. And it doesn't really affect the wear time on me. So I think that's it. I will have another review on another shade, and i done Happy Politician as part of a set that I have, so I'm going to put the link to that in the video description here. Same formula, very similar results, uh, just different color. And please let me know if you have other colors or comments if you would be so kind subscribe on youtube and then i also have a novel that i'm putting on youtube called masks which is about makeup and the masks we wear and i'm doing it chapter by chapter and i'm behind and need to write another chapter so i have to do that but i'll put a link to those in the description and if you have time you can